so if we have to solve the numerical problems which are based on this emf equation what things are to be kept in mind before we move to the numericals please focus on that first of all this formula of emf equation is applicable both on the primary side and secondary side okay so if we are taking the primary side number of turns as n1 then this formula becomes even but if we are taking n2 secondary side number of turns then this formula becomes e2 okay this thing clear so in general this is the formula so we are we can observe that the few things are common 4.44 f 5m it is common so what we can derive from this is that e1 upon n1 is equal to e2 upon n2 okay what else so emf and voltage can be used synonymously until and unless it is mentioned otherwise okay so we know that this is say source voltage this is v1 so if some drop is there it is different case otherwise this because in the transformer whenever some rating is given or voltage rating is given or transformer output or rating is given v1 is mentioned so assume it's similar to e1 okay but if some drop is there for example say this voltage supplied voltage single phase transform is 230 volts and it is mentioned that there is a drop of 10 volts due to the resistances and reactances present here so at that moment we will get only 220 volts because of the drop but if it is not mentioned then all this voltage is to be taken as of the same magnitude as emf okay in the secondary side this is secondary side e2 is there if some drop is there it is good enough if it is not there then all the e2 is equal to v2 so drop may be given in terms of the magnitude or it can be in terms of the percentage okay for example if this e2 is 220 volts and in the numerical it can be mentioned that the drop is 10% in the secondary side then you have to subtract 22 from here and you will get only 198 okay we have observed practically also that in our household also we do not get the full 230 volts which is requirement of the load okay because load fluctuates very much it is because of this drops okay so what else is to be kept in mind is the units so this is weber and if the area is divided which is in meter square so the flux density is given in weber per meter square then it is si system similarly if it is given in tesla it is again good enough but if sometimes it is given in gauss then you should be in position to convert that gauss into tesla using this formula okay so it should be known to you okay is this clear
okay let's move further so what else is to be kept in mind sometimes the voltage ratio is given in the numerical say as 220 upon 220 volts okay so now the question arises that which is the primary voltage and which is the secondary voltage if some if the voltage ratio is given like this then the first one is primary voltage and second one is the secondary voltage there should be no doubt in this but if the voltage is given in transformation ratio if we say that this is the transformation ratio of the voltages transformation ratio in the form of given in transformation ratio then this becomes secondary and this becomes primary we have learned that the emf or voltage which is given in the transformer it is having rms values this is again to be kept in mind because if if say the emf is given as instantaneous value okay say e is given as say 22 sin omega t then it is to be converted into rms value okay before using this okay sometimes in the question the turns per emf per turn is given okay so there is nothing to worry about it since we know that in the emf formula uh, what is this emf formula 4.44 f phi m n1 phi m f phi m okay so if n comes down it's again good enough it's nothing to bother okay now what is the rating of the transformer rating of the transformer is same on the primary side as well as on the secondary side and it is the apparent power according to the voltage triangle in the single phase we have studied if this is the voltage triangle so this is the apparent power this is our true power and this is our reactive power so this apparent power rating of the transformer is given in the apparent power so using si system this vi is equal to it, it is given in the volt amperes so if it is given in the volt amperes it is good enough but if the rating of the transformer is to be con volt amperes is to be converted into kva then it is to be divided by 1000 okay similarly if it is to be converted in mva then it is to be divided by 10 to the power 6 okay so this is to be kept in mind and if the numerical says that the current is lagging by angle then you have to assume that it is having the inductive load and power factor is to be mentioned clearly that whether it is lagging or leading